Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Ignore my hair. I did not do anything to it this morning, but it's a crisp, cool day in Pittsburgh. I got an amazing order in from Destination Wax. Now, this is not my entire order. I ordered 25 of her breakaway bars, and then I ordered six foil pans, which are her version of loaves, but those I ordered separately because the loaves take longer than the breakaway bars, but I just could not wait. I was like, I'm going to wait to make the video. I'm going to wait to make the video. Guys, from the poor dates that she puts on those, and her poor dates are accurate, um, they are ready to go. So I'm like, well, I'm not waiting any longer, so I need to dive right into this wax. If you're unfamiliar with Destination Wax, Destination Wax is owned by Rebecca Harris and her husband Jim and an admin, I believe it's Casey, don't quote me on that, but anyway, they make Destination Wax and I have fallen in love with Destination Wax. Her blends are complex but simple. She has the most easy ordering I've ever seen. She opens on the first of every month a few days before she posts what won't be available and any like new things that might have changed but she offers breakaway bars which is what i purchased or scent shot cups in whatever she has available they're ready to ship so as soon as you order within i think it's like 2 to 14 days they'll be shipped out to you but she also offers the majority of her scent list again if there's no oils that she has or something's been discontinued she'll post that but for the most part they're available as a um it's not technically a pre-order but it's like a made to order so they do take a while like i said i did order six but those will be shipping towards the end of the month but i just could not wait anymore and another thing that i love about her wax is just the strength and throw i only use one of these breakaway bars in my warmers in each warmer and it fills the entire house for the day. Her stuff is amazing. Yes, I'm doing a melting basket. I think I'm going to do like a monthly empties video. What do you guys think? I think weekly is just too much. It's too much of a commitment where I feel like every month is a lot easier for me, but let me know what you guys think. But anyway, I ordered 25 breakaway bars. I got four samples. I can't wait to melt, so let's start talking. As always, I will link her Facebook group down below. That is the best way to get in contact. And her Facebook group is one of the best Facebook groups. They are such active admins. I know Charity um, has a series, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and I love watching it. And a trend that a lot of vendors have is they're just not active. And she made a good point. Don't forget where you came from. And I think Rebecca and Jim are just incredible on there with responding, knowing what you ordered, interacting with you, other people. Like, it's a great Facebook group. But anyway, enough rambling. The first four samples I got, the first one is Black Licorice, and it says, Sweet Black Licorice contains star anise essential oil. Now, this is definitely going to be in, like, my Halloween week melting, because it smells like a straight-up, like, good and plenty candy, and it's this teeny little bunt cake. I love her wax. Everything that she makes is like single. Like pop this in your warmer. You'll get great throw. Because it's smaller this will probably go in my bathroom but yeah I mean it smells just like a good and plenty candy. It's not a scent that I would ever purchase but it's interesting for Halloween. Um, I'll definitely melt it then. Fresh dirt and new mown grass. Not a scent that I would ever order either. Wonderful spring fresh scent. Clean, freshly dug dirt and clean, fresh cut grass. Even talking about it is just like strange. It definitely smells like fresh cut grass, but it's not like the grass clippings. Like every time I think of fresh cut grass, I think of Etta. And when she smelled that fresh cut grass oil, she was like, Whoa, Nelly! Like, stop the whole video for like 10 seconds. It was hilarious. But, yeah, I mean, I get fresh cut grass, but I think the dirt, it, it's weird as it sounds, it's clean. It's dirt, but it's fresh dirt. So it's like you went to Home Depot and you got a bag of fresh dirt. I don't know. It's interesting. It's very clean. I'm going to save that for the spring to melt. We'll see. 
Lemon Glaze. I was really excited. I love Lemon Bakery. And this says, very lemony, fresh lemon with a lightly sugared bakery note. So the bakery note is not heavy on this. This is just a light lemon, and it's just a cute little star shape. Oh, and this is very lemony. Does it come across a little pledgy? I'm honest, I think it does. But I like... I like it. It's a very light bakery. I mean, it's definitely way more lemon forward. And I see how it says like a lemon glaze and I it kind of, okay. You know how I like to paint pictures here. You know the Starbucks lemon cake and when you get it, that slice of icing is almost like overwhelmingly lemon flavored that I actually have to like cut some of that off because it's even too sweet and like tart even for me. That's exactly what that smells like. It smells like that lemon glaze on the top of a Starbucks cake. It's like really overpowering, but we'll see. I think in a melt it'll be nice when it's like in the air. And then we have clove. Single note of clove, a classic home fragrance. And it does. I like that this is available as just clove because most of the time you see pumpkin clove, nutmeg clove, this and clove. This is just clove. And clove has a very distinctive smell. I mean, all I can say is it smells just like it. You go to the store, get a jar of cloves, and smell this. They're one and the same. It's like a spicy cinnamon. I know it's not cinnamon, it's clove, but it is. It's like that spicy, really almost like Michael's type of smell. All right. I got a lot of breakaway bars, so I'm just going randomly, picking at the top of my bin and working my way down. The first one is Strawberry Bourbon Vanilla, which is sweet strawberry with a kick of bourbon vanilla, inspired by BBW. I don't remember Strawberry Bourbon Vanilla. I know that's crazy, but I will say, and this was poured on April 9th, so this is nice and cured. This is interesting. I will say, if I didn't think it was, if I didn't know it was a Bath and Body Works type on here, I would know it was a Bath and Body Works scent. It has that quintessential, classic BBW scent. Strawberry bourbon vanilla, sure. It definitely comes across as like a strawberry like body care scent. Like I said, that quintessential Bath and Body Works scent that everybody knows. It's what that smells like. It's good though. Apple Whiskey Smash. I ordered this one because I love the alcohol notes in fragrance. I don't like to drink alcohol, but I like the way that it smells. And this is peat smoked whiskey blended with fresh Macintosh and Granny Smith apples. So you have the sweet, you have the sour, and then you have the whiskey. I'm not detecting much whiskey in here. I, I really am not. I'm definitely detecting apple. Like... I would say Granny Smith more. And as weird as this is, it says peat smoked whiskey. I smell the peat smoked, which is like a type of wood. I definitely smell like, it, almost like a charred apple. It's really nice. This one was poured on 723. So even with a month, that was August 23rd. So it's ready to go. I definitely want to pop it in my warmers. I think it's going to be interesting when it does melt. And I think the whiskey note will come out. But I really smell like a, a like a charred apple. It's it's different. I really like it. Coast of Sicily. Where's Danny at? Danny loves her Coast of Sicily scent. So this is mainly why I ordered it. It says lavender and violets mingle with the salty ocean breeze of the Sicilian coast. This smells like clean, 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 like clean ocean. Wow. I definitely smell violet, but very much in the background because I do not like the scent of violets, especially on their own. But whatever it's, how it's blended in this, because Rebecca is a master when it comes to blending, this smells just like fresh, clean ocean. And I think the violet in here is blended perfectly. This is gonna be an amazing bathroom melt. Shaving cream. I was talking about shaving cream before. Where did I order Rose Girls Mini Melters? I love the scent of shaving cream. I wanted to order this in a foil pan, but I'm like, let me just order a bar to see if it's the shaving cream I know and love. And it is. If you have never tried shaving cream, 
please try it. This is like, I think it's 425, like it's not a commitment. And it says, fresh and clean shaving cream, great with almost no cologne, or with no cologne, great blender. And it is, it smells like the freshest shaving cream you've ever smelled. Not spicy, not woody, not cologne-y, uh, amazing. Next is Orang, I think it's pronounced orang. I saw somebody post in the Facebook group they were melting this and it was just super intriguing. I knew I had to pick it up. It's champagne, peaches, and vanilla. I love peach. Vanilla is a great blender and champagne. Fizzy. Lori Brown, if you watch my videos, I'm not sure if you do, you need this scent. I know you love your fizzy and this smells like a fizzy peach ring. Like those delicious peach ring. I picture I had one time a peach ring mimosa. So it actually had like a, I just said I don't drink. I don't drink like drink, drink, go out. Like, but if I go to a brunch or something, I'll have a mimosa. And I popped a peach, well they popped a peach ring in it. And like it started to bubble and fizz. This smells exactly like that drink. Like a peach ring mimosa. This is outstanding. I love that. And the review said it was incredible too, so I can't wait to melt it. Butternut pumpkin. This says, rich pumpkin and butternut squash baked with nutmeg, cinnamon, and caramelized sugar. I love everything pumpkin, so I knew I was going to love this. It's so interesting. I definitely pick up on the butternut squash and the pumpkin. One of my favorite favorite meals in the fall is butternut squash ravioli with like a really nice cream sauce. I mean, a perfection. And this smells like that filling because the filling is literally like nutmeg, cinnamon, butternut squash. Like, oh my gosh, it is so good. It's definitely rich, creamy fall. And then that nutmeg and cinnamon and then ooh, caramelized sugar. It's it's really good. To me, it smells like the filling from butternut squash ravioli, which cold day, best meal. Like best meal to really fill you up. Now this. Now I will admit, I smelled a cup all of these before just quick. Wood smoke. <sighs> Straight up smoky campfire or fireplace scent. A fantastic blender. A fantastic blender, that's going to be the key because, wow, this literally smells like a campfire. And I know that people say like Fireside from Bath and Body Works smells like a fire. No, this smells like a true fire. Like the first thing I want to do <coughs> is cough like when you cough from a fire because it's like in your lungs. Wow. I have to really come up with a good way to blend that. So if you know any good blenders with wood smoke, please let me know because it's a powerful one. Next, another Danny scent is stainless steel. A clean and fresh musk with citrus, ozone, sea moss, and light floral notes. Now, I'm very new to the stainless steel world. And I don't want to say this as like basic, like it smells like a basic men's scent. But it definitely smells like a very watery men's fragrance. Sea moss, light floral, fresh musk, clean citrus. Yeah, I mean, it does. It smells like if you ordered, like, for a uh, men's fragrance, like a uh, citrus cologne, I feel like this is what it would smell like. I mean, nothing wrong with it. It's just a very fresh, clean, uh, cologne-y type of scent. I'm not really good at describing cologne scents. That's one category you can count me out of because to me it's so hard to describe those scents. Coffee? Espresso Macchiato. I want to order all of her coffee scents. I love coffee. And this one says, rich espresso sweetened with a dash of steamed milk. So for me, when I read this, it's espresso and steamed milk. So no sugar, no cream, no flavor. And that is exactly what this smells like. Crazy. Like, when I, I have an espresso, I love it, and when I press that button and it pours me a shot of espresso, 
and you smell that robust scent. A little bit bitter, but if you just add, like it says, a dash of steamed milk, and that's all it is. It's a little bit of milk and a lot of espresso. It's very bitter, but don't take that across as like it's not a good scent. It definitely smells like a true espresso macchiato. Like it is a pure espresso scent with just a hint of that cream or that milk. It's really good. It's a definite, true, authentic coffee, and I'm excited to melt it because I love coffee. And I actually think that will be interested blending with Palo Santo. I love Palo Santo. Zucchini bread pumpkin. Here's my Catherine King with my zucchini bread. Zucchini bread with sweet pumpkin and spices. All right, so... This smells like you took a loaf of zucchini bread right out of the oven and you took a jar of pumpkin pie spice and you sprinkled it right on the top. It, you can't really get any more like descriptive than that. It smells like you just took zucchini bread and you put pumpkin pie spice. I think that's an awesome, awesome scent. Wow, like it's really, really good. It's a little spicy, so if you're not a fan of spice, but if you like that pumpkin pie spice with that zucchini bread, you'll love it. Macintosh apple. I told you before I've been into apple scents lately. This is no exception. It's not as bitey as all the other Macintosh apple scents where like it smells like, like straight up apple with the, with the peel. This smells like you, you actually peeled the apple and put the scent oil in. It smells like a peeled Macintosh apple, which I'm also not complaining. I love apple scents. Pistachio and rose water cake. Now this is one I saw the description and I was like, I like pistachio scents, but I think sometimes they can be overwhelming. And rose water cake sounds delicious. There's a bakery here in Pittsburgh. I'm going to go on a rant or a tangent. It's called the Butterwood Bake Consortium. And when you walk in, I'm going to put this down, it, you picture this beautiful Victorian, like, Alice in Wonderland. It's the most beautiful bakery, and they're open to, like, 11 o'clock at night. Crazy. Like, for it to be, like, a high-end fancy, like, high-tea bakery to be open that late. And you look at the case, there's beautiful, like, moss and flowers and all this, and the cakes are, like, sweet potato cake with mocha icing and roses. Like, totally exotic, like, floral, light, feminine, beautiful, beautiful cakes. They have, my favorite is the rose cake with raspberry buttercream. It's amazing. So when I saw this, I'm like, that reminds me of the Butterwood. And then I saw a review on the Facebook group when I was making my list, and they said this is amazing. It says, cake with buttercream scented with rose water and pistachio on elegant non-bakery scent. And she's right. There's no bakery. To me, this smells... I actually had a pistachio cake from them, and it was the icing that was pistachio. This smells like that bakery. You smell rose water. If you're not a fan of roses, you're not going to like this scent. I, this is foil pan worthy. I love this. I love the rose water. And the pistachio... What's so cool about the pistachio in this is it's not the type of pistachio that you smell and you're like, oh my god, like, turn that warmer off. It's like giving me a headache. It's so strong and powerful on pistachio. No, it is, oh, I, I don't want to say because I haven't melted it and I need to test the whole entire bar, different rooms, different strengths, etc. to really know how well it's going to perform, but. That could possibly be one of my favorite scents from Destination Wax. Like, my signature scent. We'll see. It's really good. Autumn Campfire. Dried autumn leaves crackling in an outdoor campfire. So, wood smoke was really overpowering. This has, okay, this has that wood smoke in it. You, you can tell. I mean, it's like that same fireplace. But... Dried autumn leaves. Uh, it's definitely, you can definitely tell there's something mixed into this that it's not just that wood smoke. Is it autumn leaves? 
I, well, it is, but yeah, I, I'm, I don't know. I'm just really getting that campfire smell to hopefully when you melt this, it's good. It's different. Um, this was poured on 823, so it hasn't had really a month cure time. I can't imagine how long when that really sets what that's going to be because it is like also very, very strong. I think those will be really good in low doses. Sweet on Paris. Now, I'm obsessed with the color. This is like a perfect purple. And this says, Gourmand blend of blackberry, lemon, nectarine, vanilla macaron, and a hint of peony. Bath and Body Works type. I loved this scent when it came out, Sweet on Paris. And I love it here. It smells just like the lotion. Again, it has that, it has that Bath and Body Works body care type of scent. But then it's mixed with blackberries and lemon. Again, this I also could see being a cake at the Butterwood. It's like a really floral, but fruity, delicious. Oh, if you've never tried Sweet on Paris, if you like blackberry scents, you have to have this to your list. It's like a blackberry body care. Banana Walnut Tort. Shout out to Ramona. Um, I'm shouting out everybody. Um, she loves banana scents. I love banana scents. I was binge watching all of her videos last week on Destination Wax, and she loves this banana walnut tort. And this says, layers of lightly spiced banana, banana cake, creamy banana custard, and chopped walnuts. So banana overload, which I don't have a problem with. Loaf worthy. It's banana, and it's not Laffy Taffy or Runt's banana. It's like the most delicious banana cake. Like, you take a banana cake, you mix the banana with the eggs and all, whatever you make custard with. This is my mixing. As you can see, I'm mixing in the air. I don't know how to bake. Oh! Delish. Banana walnut tort. Um, Rebecca, if you're watching this video, I don't know if you are or not, Bananas Foster is my favorite dessert in the world. I don't find it in wax. I would love a Bananas Foster scent. Just saying. Wild Berry Tulips, another Bath & Body Works scent, and this is Wild Red Berries, Tangerine, Tulips, Water Lily, Honeysuckle, and Woods, Bath & Body Works type. I remember this lotion. My favorite lotion in that line was Wild Citrus Sunflower. There was Wild Citrus Sunflower, Wild Berry Tulips, and Wild Apple Daffodil, and this Smells just like that lotion. It was, it's a floral, but it's a very sweet floral. The berries definitely take the tulips and tone it down and add some creaminess to it. But again, it has that Bath and Body Works type of scent. My warmers just went out. I'll fix that. All right, that's better. Wild Berry Tulips. It smells just like a very creamy berry body care scent. Lavender Sugar Cookie. Lavender and Sugar Cookie. I love lavender, um, but it's not like something that I always gravitate towards, but it's nice to have it in small doses. This, again, I'm, I, this must have been an order from the Butterwood Bakery. It smells like you took a sugar cookie and you took just like fresh lavender and sprinkled it on top of the most delicious but the sugar cookie is like this big. Like it's not a little sugar cookie, it's a big sugar cookie. Flat, crystallized sugar, probably sugar in the raw because it's organic and it's fresh and it's gonna be delicious. Sprinkled with just a little bit of fresh lavender. It is definitely an herbal lavender, it's not a sweet lavender. So that mixed with the creaminess of the sugar cookie, love. Zucchini bread pie crust. Zucchini bread and buttery pie crust. I'm a sucker for pie crust scents, so I knew I was going to love this. And I do. It definitely smells like zucchini bread, but definitely a lot mellowed down. Again, this is a very conceptual, like, zucchini bread pie crust isn't really necessarily something you could make. You probably could, like, shred zucchini into the pie crust, but I don't know how effective that would be and, like, what you would actually use that to make, but I don't know. But anyway... Yeah, it just smells like a very creamy zucchini bread. The flakiness of the pie crust comes through at the end. It's yummy. 
Blueberry Pumpkin Patch, another Path and Body Works type. Ripe blueberries and pumpkin with a bit of bakery spice. This is a candle that also did not come back this year. Cider Lane, Blueberry Pumpkin Patch, and Pumpkin Peanut Brittle. Nowhere to be found. Favorites. People love them. This is nice. It's so weird to take a creamy pumpkin and cross it with a blueberry, but it works. And this year, I'm not going to. I have a friend who's an amazing baker, not at the Butterwood, but I want to try for him to make a blueberry pumpkin pie or a blueberry pumpkin bread. Have you guys tried it? It sounds amazing. I mean, it already smells amazing, so I can't imagine why not. The next one we have is Blackberry Fruit Punch. Now, I was going to order her Blackberry Ginger Ale, and I still will next time, but my friend, you know who you are out there. You're probably sitting there with your mama watching my video. She told me I needed to try this scent, and it is Super Sweet Berry Fruit Punch. It's one of her favorites. And I can see why. It doesn't smell like fruit punch necessarily like the red, like Hawaiian fruit punch. It smells like fruit punch made from blackberries. So you still get that super sweet, super sugary concession, concession, not circus concession, like a super sweet, like I, I call cotton candy or I call fruit punch cotton candy juice. And that is kind of like what this smells like, like good cotton candy juice with blackberries. Fresh laundry. I do have an entire laundry order planned for October. Well, a lot of the laundry blends plus other things because I really want some clean fresh scents to really just help clear my nose from all these bakeries. So I first ordered fresh laundry. So this says fresh cotton linens right off the clothesline, no folding involved. This is a very light laundry. I'm not saying like the th strength of it is light, but it's not like bam in your face, it's all laundry. This is perfectly blended. Oh, oh my God. Does not look like you could just eat this? Don't eat the wax. Look how thick these are too, by the way. Yeah, it's like, it's definitely like you have your clothes hung on the line and you took them off and you give them a smell. So it just has that lightness of laundry, but all of the fragrance really went away from it. And it just left really light. Scottish Hearth. This is one that a lot of people were talking about on the Facebook group this past month. Old world hearth fire of fresh applewood boughs tossed onto burning logs of white birch. So this is interesting. So we have applewood and white birch. I love white birch. And this definitely smells like white birch. And white birch, I describe Palo Santo as a clean wood too. White birch is definitely a clean wood. I feel like white birch is like the Christmas version of Palo Santo. It's just a little bit festive. I don't necessarily know why it make, why it's festive. I mean, white birch trees, don't they grow all year round? I'm not sure, but I know when you see a white birch tree, you're instantly just felt calm. You're felt quiet. Wherever they are is picturesque. You could take a picture of a white birch tree and it just looks so beautiful every time. And that's what this smells like. It smells like you made a fire but it's fresh, like a fresh fire. It's really interesting. I know that when I melt that, it's going to be a really good night, so I'm definitely saving that. Plum tart. Warm baked tart with a jammy rich filling of plum, orange, cinnamon, and vanilla. Plum tart sounds delish. Trying to find a dupe for my sweet plum pastry. This is not it. It's definitely a plum pastry though. Like you smell the plum, but there's orange and vanilla and cinnamon in there. To me, it definitely smells, if I was to read this and smell it, I would say it smells like an orange plum tart. You definitely smell the citrus of the orange, but then you smell the juiciness and the warmth of the plum with that flaky pie crust. This actually might not be bad with zucchini bread pie crust as I drop it on the floor. Anyway, zucchini bread pie crust mixed with the plum tart. 
God, I'm growing crazy. Lavender Twilight is the next one, and this is Sweet Lavender, Lilac, Tonka Bean, and Ylang Ylang. It's a, it's a dupe for Lush's Twilight, and you know Lush scents. They all have that signature scent, just like Bath & Body Works does. Lush has that bath bomb smell. And this smells like a Lush bath bomb, straight up. And this was poured 52721. Now, okay, so let's talk a little bit too about this pour date. 52721, that's May 27th. It has a long cure time on it. When Rebecca pours all these, she'll list them on the website however many she has. She's only opened the first and the second. If there's still leftovers of this, she'll just add the leftovers to the next restock. So it's not like this has just been sitting forever. I mean, it's been sitting, but as I mean, it's not popular. People probably were ordering this in Lowe's. She just might have poured a lot of this and it's still there. It's still good and it's just, I think, a little bit better because it's been there longer. And this is, it smells like a bath bomb lavender. I mean, if you know Lush's Twilight scent, it's pretty self-explanatory. And the last scent, London Calling, which says black tea, lemon, and sugar. Now this does not say Bath & Body Works type. Because if you remember the Bath and Body Works scandal was called London Calling Tea and Lemon. And this smells just like it. That is a candle I do not understand why they don't bring back. I have so many people ask me about that scent all the time. Because it smelled like a hot tea with lemon. How great of a scent is that? You walk into the kitchen when you're making a hot tea with lemon. Like a really great hot black tea. And... It smells like the whole kitchen smells like it. And it's such a good, comforting scent. This is it. And if you guys are missing the Bath & Body Works London Calling, try this. This, again, is loaf-worthy for me. Foil pan loaf. Oh. Foil pan worthy. I need to remember she calls them foil pans. Anyway. There was a lot of wax here. I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot, and a lot and a lot of wax. But Destination Wax holds a special place in my heart. Her Facebook group is so great and welcoming. I've said that before. Let me know. I asked you a lot of questions throughout the video. So let me know what you guys have tried, if you've ordered what you love, what are some scents that I need to try so I can finalize my list for October. Don't forget, hit that notification bell in the corner so you're alerted every time I upload on YouTube. And I'll talk to you soon. Love you. Bye.